All right. Stream three. Technically, day four. Uh, I did play a little bit yesterday. I streamed Saturday and Sunday, and Monday there was snow, but not enough to cancel school, so... I think I'll be able to squeeze a stream in, stream in today and Thursday is my plan. I want to keep the momentum going. Uh, so I did, I did play off stream. I did not progress any kind of story or anything, and I tried it to, I tried to, I tried it to avoid mons that I had not yet seen. With some success. Uh, I wa- uh, Unagi evolved. But I had already, I was already aware of Wug Trio, so, uh, not the end of the world there. I spent hours walking around, uh, catching mons that we missed on stream, and just generally going all over the region. And had Kilua out the whole time. Didn't nothing changed. People on the internet seem to think that you have to do this. He's one of the walking evolutions, and people think that you have to do it all at one time, which I can't believe is true because that seems unbelievably stupid. But that's the only way I finally got him to evolve. Was I came up here and I just walked in circles for fifteen minutes. And, uh, he looks exactly like the previous two forms, just with a little extra frill. I'm not- he's not- not my favorite... family of Mons. I'ma be honest. It's like they came up with the- with the middle one. The Pikachu clone of the generation. But they didn't want to change it too much, they didn't want to stray too much from it being a Pikachu clone. So they just gave it a very similar looking pre-evolution and evolution. That's how I think the design process went for a fur paw thing. I, Pomo? Pawmot, I think is the final name. So last stream, we, uh, fit, we beat the electric gym was the last thing we did. So we gotta look around for some more, like, goals to do. Before that, Is this the town? This is, uh, this is the electric place, Lavincia. Before that, uh, there was a thing that I missed near the bug town. That I thought looked like, a, like, a, like some kind of fire hyena on the field. But, uh, it was, in fact, a dog. Where is it? There it is. It's Scubby. Who is, I would presume, the pre-evolution of whatever Arvin has. Mashif. Mischief? Mischief? Oh, it's like mischief. It's a pun. I get it. Again, caught a bunch of stuff that we just kind of were walking past on stream because I didn't want to waste a bunch of time catching old mons. I did get this. This was a raid battle. I tried a couple of those. This was a three-star one. So I did end up going for it. And I got Tinkatuff. Is that what it's called? I don't know if it evolves. But it's a pink thing with a hammer. So obvious, obviously it's Amy Rose. I might use it. Fairy Steel is a neat combination. I also found a cave with Larvitar. Gotta use Lar Larvitar. I can't not use my little guy. Last gen we had uh, Godzilla. Now we have Junior. I think... I'll probably add Tinkatuff to the team. But uh, it's level 35, so I'll wait until I'm closer to that level. Is there anything else? Got a raid battle Pachirisu. No, I think that's all the... That's all the potentially new stuff that I got. Again, 
I was trying to avoid, like, new mons. I found the cave that had, uh, th there was a cave in the corner of the map that had, uh, Gibble and Larvitar in it. So I was glad I found that. And there was also one mon that I saw, but did not catch because I wanted, I wanted to save it for, uh, for the stream. So I want to go get that now. I think it was called Tandem Mouse. And it was over in the corner here. Probably during the day. I don't know if it'll show up at night. You know what? I can check my Pokedex for this. Which I have filled out a good bit. I'm up to a 104 caught. I need to evolve a lot of my things, but... Uh, you can see I've gone through and caught the first form of... Most families so far. All of them up to a point. Where are you at? It's literally just two mice. Is it a special kind of mice? No, it's just, just two plain-ass mice. But there's two of them. That That's the gimmick. Lives near towns and cities rarely seen. Oh, I should have... Maybe I should have caught that. I saw it. Mm, pst. I wonder if it was an outbreak and I didn't realize it at the time. Alright, so Tandem Mouse might have to wait. There was also... Uh, so I, I passed by the place where I fought the Sky Titan. And it's kind of just, it, it was waiting there for me. Where was that? Again, I wish the map was consistent. I gotta, like, reorient it every single time. Here we go. It was up here. The, uh, the weird penis stork was just hanging out. I guess it's a static encounter after you defeat the, the Titan Pokemon. And I also saw one in the wild, so they are catchable outside of that static encounter. I'm going the wrong way. I want to go here. Oh, uh, the Olive evolved. It evolved into Dolive. After that, I swapped out the Pokemon, the new Pokemon in my party, because I didn't want them to... I didn't want them to evolve off-stream, so... There it is. It's just there. Probably not the same Pokemon, it's probably not the Titan, but Shrunk, but, uh... There's a static encounter just hanging out, waiting for you to fight it. This is not okay. How long it takes to load boxes like this. I, d I don't mind, like, the frame rate issues in-game. They're, they're funny to laugh at, but they don't affect the experience for me, really. This does. This makes things take longer, and I don't like that. But, uh, there's Antipasto. The doll of... It looks like... It looks so much like, uh... The character from Sonic X. What's her name? Cosmo. The Cedrian. I, sh I should rename her that. Just for her to evolve into something that looks nothing like Cosmo anymore. Alright, so Kilo has evolved. I don't love that Pokemon's design, Palmot, or any of the family, but I do like the typing, the uh, electric fighting. 
And it's also also nice to have a catcher Pokemon, so... Uh... I'll keep it in the party for now. I should see if... Uh... I should see if any of my Pokemon can like False Swipe. If I can get something with False Swipe and uh, Paralysis, that, that would be a, a better catching Pokemon. Why did you delete Nuzzle? Uh, because I was too strong to use it on very low-level Pokemon, so I replaced it with Thunder Wave. Which, again, would be resolved by just having False Swipe. Is there, There's not a way for me to, like, go through my PC boxes and see who all could learn False Swipe, is there? I don't think there is. I would have to, uh... I would have to, like, go to, like, a Bulbapedia page to see who can learn it. Oh, it's a dark... It's a dark type? It gathers things up in an apron made from shed feathers added to the Pokemon's chest feathers then drops those things from high places for fun. An apron made from shed feather. Okay, so it sews? Will it let me? It actually, okay, it let me. Don't worry about it, don't think about it too much. Let me look at my boxes and just see if I can kind of figure who might uh, might be able to learn it. Peter maybe could. I wonder. Oh, she she doesn't have anything like sharp on her. I caught a Vespiquen because I got sick of looking for a female combi. They don't spawn as much as I would like them to. Combies. Uh, Buizo can learn False Swipe, but I want False Swipe and also a Paralysis move, like Stun Spore or something. Uh, I don't know what Fajita evolves into yet. I, b I wonder if Char Cadet evolves into the, the version, but there's some version-specific thing. I also was on in the middle of organizing these. I did not quite finish, so uh, it's still a little bit of a mess. Zangoose can false swipe. I don't think he gets a paralysis move. Petal will probably evolve into something that I think... No, it evolves into Lilligant. I always get it confused with uh, Fomantis, which just kind of looks like a, it, the pre-evolution. Lurant Lurantis? Fomantis? The, the first form just kind of looks like a pink Lilligant. Or a pink Petalil. Alright, so next, actually, next on our stop was the Water Gym. Quaking Earth Titan. Let's not worry about that yet. Uh, now that I have leveled off stream a little bit, I should be able to. Uh... Can I just fly? Yeah, I can fly here. I should be able to take this this dude and his level twenty eight floatzel. Rafferig. Oh, there's another form of, uh, of Deerling. You know what? Uh, 
I'll take a second to catch that. I think this is the spring form and the green one is summer. Also a normal grass type, I forgot about that. One of the uh, rare pre-Gen 9 normal combination types. I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, in the beta for Pokemon Gold, Silver, Giraffery was not normal Psychic, it was normal Dark. And the Dark type had more of a relationship with the normal type, because I think normal was super effective against Dark, which made Dark even worse than it was in the final game. It, it was pretty awful in the beta. Unagi wants to learn Triple Dive. That sounds like a signature move. What's that? Is it water? Do we finally have a physical water attack? Hitting the target with splashes of water three times in a row. Alright, so effectively 90 power. Yeah! That, that's good. I'll take it. I'll keep my priority move. Finally, I have been waiting so long for this thing to get a physical water attack. These Pokémon are not shy. They will behave as they please even in front of people. If you feed one of them, it will quickly take a liking to you. There's a Dawn fan down there. Flaffy. I've also been fighting some trainers, but I did not... Uh, I haven't been checking with these guys. I'll see if I can get any, uh, any rewards off-stream with them. And I also still need to... I need to do the classes off-stream. Alright, so we're going to... Where's the water guy at? He's up here. I also learned that the, uh... The other type of pig, Cologne, whatever I was seeing, was, uh... It was a gender different version. The males have the red tails and the females have the brown tails. So, it was not, in fact, a third form. Which honestly makes more sense because it would have been a pretty lame third form. Hello! What are you? It's Varum. It looks like a steel type, but that would be too obvious. Is it it's electric? No, it's not it's not electric because spark is neutrally effective. It must be electric and something else. Maybe. I have no idea what type this thing is. It can't be electric water. Electric isn't super against much. Electric flying? No, because then ground wouldn't hit it. I got a Varum Fume. Steel Poison. Said that this Pokemon was born when an unknown poison Pokemon entered and inspirited an engine left at a scrap processing factory. Okay. It, that sounds like the background of a ghost Pokemon, but... Single cylinder Pokemon. Uh, I, I don't know if I can give it a better nickname than Varum. I kind of just like Varum. Well, I, I want to see what that evolves into, and Steel Poison is a cool type. Sorry, Egad. Once again, you get the short end of the stick. Okay, so it only. Actually, I didn't see the numbers. Maybe it evolves more than once. I don't have a Grimer yet. Oh, 
I'm in catch mode now. I gotta catch everything I see. Elf mentioned that uh, there are too many mons in this game. He's, he's sick of catching them. Previously, when the national decks existed, I would just uh, I would migrate my entire Pokedex up to the latest generation. So I caught all the Gen 1 Pokemon in Gen 1, 2 and Gen 2. Those were on the on the virtual console, so I could send those straight to Pokemon Bank. And then from Gen 3 up to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7. Trading them all over sounds just as annoying and tedious. Nah, it's a ritual. Although they did... They didn't make it easy, I, I will grant, in uh, some of the Pokemon gens. A lot of them had really stupid transfer up, like, mini games and things you had to do, and they had limits like you could only do a maximum of six per day or something. Hello! We found one! Or, well, we found two. Ah! Oh! All right. I'll take a ditto. I got played. I have been made aware that Zerua do that as well. They will uh, disguise themselves as other Pokemon in the area. However, that does mean, in theory, that uh, Tandemouse can be found in this area. I also don't know if Ditto still copies the uh, catch rate. I feel like that was changed at some point down the line. Wait, did, it, did I just get healed by Thunder Wave? I don't know, that could happen since that's a non-damaging move. Maybe it does capture- maybe it does copy the catch rate. There we go. Just need a crick catch. Its transformation ability is perfect, however, if made to laugh, it can't maintain its disguise. It's tradition. I breed Pokemon. That was a terrible Brock. I can't do Eric Stewart very well. Who did Eric Stewart voice? He was Brock in Pokemon. He was Kaiba in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, he was also James in Pokemon. It was Gowrie in Slayers, which no one watched but me, so no one's gonna know that reference. It's just a mouse, but two of them. Is that all this Pokemon is? It knows Bullet Seed. Does it have. Is it part grass type, or is it just. Maybe just has a gimmick of multi-hit moves. Speaking of, I wonder if uh, I wonder if Remoraid can learn Bullet Seed. No, it it being a gun. Couple Pokemon exhibiting great teamwork. They use their incisors to cut pieces out of any material that might be useful for nests, then make off with them. They look like the. There was a Japanese chibi cartoon version of Tom and Jerry. They look like that. They look like a couple of Jerry's. I, I 
can't do I can't do and I can't fit an and in there. Uh, I know it evolves. I, I was I am aware of that. I don't know the details of its evolution forms or whatever goes on with that. There's a Curlia. I was just I was just at the Pokemon Center. Oh, it's up this this cliff. That's why. Oh, there's a Stunky, a Stanky. I don't think I have a Stanky yet. What what is that? Why is there a ball there? Oh, that's. Hello, NPC trainer. Wow, you uh, you have a superpower. That's impressive. What's the name of your quirk? So the trainer, when I started a battle with a wild Pokemon, the trainer disappeared. However, the ball he was holding did not. It's just there. Can I get an angle of this so it looks like... Uh, I am become ball guy. Could this be the work of an enemy stand? My stand, invisible touch. Oh, hey, great. Yeah, yeah, I want flamethrower. 90 power move on a, on a special attack fire Pokemon. Now watch him phase back into existence. Its stench spreads over a mile radius. If in the real world we there existed a skunk whose stench sprayed over a mile radius, there would be hunts for this species. They would they would want it off the face of the earth. Oh, get out of here, Tauros. No. Jaquin. When does Braviary evolve? I want to say 64, but is it that high? I know Volcarona, Volcarania, whatever, is 64. That's like a ludicrously high one. I just remember the, the Eagle and the Vulture also be being absurdly high. I'm going to heal up. I'm not going to get distracted. I'm going to go to the water guy. I, I'm aware that Gen 5 is, in, in just in general, full of super high Evo mons. Hydreigon, I believe, is a 64. But that's a pseudo-legendary, so it's more forgivable. And it's also a stage 3, but... Come on, 64 levels of Rufflet? before you get Braviary. Okay, I'm on track. I'm focused now. Laser focused. Woohoo! 
I kind of want my trainer to not be saved by her phone just once. Just go splat on the ground. It'd be funny. Yeah, I know. I'm a jerk. I don't care. You again? Oh, yeah, so I've had I've had this guy's wallet for uh, two days now. He's just been hanging here the whole time. <laughs> I've been running all over the region with this dude's wallet because uh, gym trainer Hugo will not let me talk to him with my underleveled mons that won't evolve because I haven't walked in a circle with them for 15 minutes yet. What was what was Mien Fu? Uh, it was a level evolution, but how high was it? Who was that? The junior? Yeah. Launcher. Oh yeah, that thing. Mianfu evolves at 50, but its base form stats are so bad. Isn't it a special attack fighting type? Is, it, is that what it is? I think I get why they did that, is because in Gen 5, it was a... It wasn't a particularly big region, but they tried to spread it out with Pokemon throughout. So, uh, you would go... They wanted you to be able to use Pokemon that you caught at, like, level 40, and use their base forms for a bit before they evolve. I think that was the... what they were going for. Anyway. Grasshopper evolved. It's a uh, low kicks. Get it? Cuz cuz low kicks and locust. It looks it it kind of does look like it would fit in with the 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 solid snake bug. This is the riding one. The grasshopper pokemon. When it decides to fight all out, it stands on its previously folded legs to enter showdown mode. It neutralizes its enemies in short order. I like these bugs. These are cool bugs. Low kicks and snake. Kind of like a better version of Pounce, basically. Nice to have a few more uh, bug moves in the pool. That backfired. Now my wallet's empty, too. That's right. I got both your money, and I'm running off. Old man Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here for little old walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? I have your wallet. How much? How much are you gonna give me to get it back? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me. That's a huge help. What's what's this little dance he's doing? I'll let him do it for a minute longer. Alright, proceed. I should apologize for my little apprentice, too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. Something here at the Porto Marinata auction that we really want to get our hands on. As you can imagine, we're both a bit worked up to find I'd forgotten my wallet. Well, it's a good thing that uh, these auctions last for several days, or uh, it would have been over by now. The legendary Wakame Seaweed of the Hoenn region. 
It's a food auction? It's the springy texture of seaweed full of nutrients. Look how it catches the light. Yeah, food talk. You want me ch if you want to challenge me at the gym, you're going to need to win an auction for me. Oh, okay. What's an auction? Got to be aware of how much money you have, but the person who bids the highest... Is this going to be like Wind Waker? Yeah, just give me 50k. What an auction. Three schmucks. Uh... No, I don't want it that badly. Well, all right. I made a 15,000 profit from that. You put those grown-up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Pepperidge Farm will remember this. I just realized that's the voice I'm doing for him. This seaweed's a great catch. I'll be feeding low, feeling low on the seabed if I fail to get my hands on it. That's why I entrusted it to an 11-year-old. Yes, sir. I'm smart. Keep the money. You can try again at the auction if you want. I'm going to prepare a real good battle for you. Yeah. You know what? He's, he's still better than Iono. I like him. Man, the, the frames... It, it's usually short-lived on things in the background. Things popping in and out of existence. The most noticeable frames are the, are the NPCs moving at very low frame rates from, you know, 20 feet away. Okay, so this is a fishing town. I haven't really explored here. Just hanging out by some crates. If this was another kind of game, she would look like she was waiting for a certain uh, patron. Grand Theft Auto Pokeverse. Grand Theft Velo. You get by stealing bicycles, the most valuable thing in the Pokemon universe. It's almost at the point where it's not even worth to talk to NPCs in Pokemon games because so few of them actually have anything worth hearing. I also noticed that only, like, 30% of the doors are enterable in this game. You just kind of have to try them all and see which works. Oh. Uh, now that Low Kicks is evolved, I can swap him out. I kind of want to... I'm curious to see how Tandem Mouse evolves, but, uh... What else do I have? I kind of did EGAD dirty. I, I feel like I should finish with e finish EGAD. And it's at a lower level, so. Again, I think I am planning to add the, uh... The what's it? The, the, the fairy thing, Tinkatuff. 
to my party once my party's a little bit higher level. Once I get around 35. Alright, so in the meantime... Is there not a Pokemon Center, like, in the town here? Surely there's a, there's a fly location in town. No? I guess there's just the one on the, on, on the top of the cliff and you have to walk down here every time you come to this town. All right. Uh, so back across the desert is, uh, this is where he was. I think I can fit in about four hours today. I have a decently sized midday gap on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Usually Mondays, but uh, the light snow delayed school by two hours, so uh, I got to sleep in a little bit and I had less of a midday gap. That's not the right way. I guess I should visit the Steel Titan after this. See, uh, see how far above me that might be. I think I'm doing alright in levels now. I've, I've leveled up enough that I should be able to keep pace. Hello, who are you? Has oh, it's Hassel again. But well, I, I, not you, not you though. I met the person behind you. Is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? Your your hair is long, Mister. Yeah, I'm pretty good, I guess. Nah, ha ha. Oh, okay, it is grill. It is, it is Rika. Who is Rika? I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. She's a little farcical, shall we say. Like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. I wasn't trying to be funny. I don't know. I, I, I think she's cute. You look fun. Like, interesting. At a glance, anyway. She's one of our Academy's esteemed students. Of, of the, like, 5,000 of them, yes. Battles at these gyms really ratchet up the farther you go. Your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this very point. Oh, do they? Honestly, if I were, I would feel like the average probably would have been beaten by the fire lady and her car. In his defense, I did have to stop for a bit. I, I did have to abandon my gym quest and start grinding to beat the dude with his with his float soul. Yes, you are very fortunate for your job that uh, I was, in fact, the kind of person who did follow through and give Kofu his wallet. I gotta say, that was some poor judgment on your part. You're lucky this worked out. 
All right, let, let us fight Kofu, the surging chef. I wonder what wacky Pokemon he'll have that is not a water type, but will have a water Terra type. How's the stream look on your end? I just got a little bit of a, a warning from Restream about something encoder related. Hopefully there's nothing. Hopefully it's coming out fine. Yep, everyone wants to play with old man Kofu with his many pockets. But he's a, he's, he's a, a gym leader. He's got important business to take care of. You got Is this just a thing in the Pokemon universe? Everyone's got to have three jobs? Or is that just the biggest celebrities? Our jacks of all trades. This dude's a chef, he's a gym leader, and he's also like the, 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 the fun uncle of the town. He's somehow got time for that. Step right up, I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help in Porto Marinata. You did a mighty fine job. Now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can dance for you again. Yep, no going easy. Bring out your, 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 uh, a, a Growlithe, but it's a water type. Moves and tactics ever-changing as the raging sea. Don't try to eat my Pokemon. That woman is, like, weirdly close. She's, like, leering up on him. Like, hey there, Silver Fox. I wonder if the locations of the viewers are just random around the, the perimeter. It's just strange because she's right on top of him. Alright, Veluza. I don't know this Pokemon. I'm presuming it's a water type, so uh, all in. and the big bright bulb. I didn't realize until recently that uh, Bear in the Blue Big Blue House was a Jim Henson production. It was effectively a, a just a giant full bodysuit size Muppet. My speed fell? Crabominable. That is not a water type. That's ice fighting. But is he going to turn his into a water type, I wonder? Hmm. He's, he's giving me dialogue. How many, how many Pokemon does he have left? Is this the last one? This is the last one, so he's going to he's gonna make it water tight. What is the pre-evolution of crab abominable? The, the 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 Popeye crab. Wasn't it Wasn't it water fighting?
Crab Brawler, I think it was called. Nope, Crab Brawler was pure fighting. It, I know Crab Hammer is water type, thanks to uh, thanks to Kingler though. All right, good fight. G G. I also did not realize until just now how egg-shaped Crabominable was. You're a lively one. A little too lively. Boss is refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just like a helpless little Magikarp to you, eh? Flopping around all willy-nilly. Yep. Just gotta keep keep making fishing puns all the way through. Let's get a real good photo. You used that one already. Is he dan gonna dance? No, he's just he's gonna do a silly pose in the background. That wacky uncle. What's his... Kofu? That was his name. With four gym badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will be easier to catch, and he'll listen to you when you ask him to do things. What TM do we get? We get Chilling Water. That sounds new. Attacks the target by showering it with water that's so cold it saps the target's power. Also lowers the attack stat. All right. We'll see we'll see you again soon, Pepperidge Farm man. Hello. Namona. We now have I now have four badges. I'm already halfway through the gym challenge. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. She really likes her, like, fruit metaphors. I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time, I've got to ask for a rain check. Get it? You see what I did there? Because we're in the water gym. Rain check. Is this TM worth using? How strong is Chilling Rain or whatever? Uh, f uh, Fire Fang is not good for me, though, because it's a physical move. I found a number of TMs just hanging out in the wild. Uh, lowers the target's attack stat. Uh, it's a special move, though, which is not good for... Uh, not good for my eel. Eels. Flash Cannon is a. Uh... I wonder if the engine is a physical or a special attacker. Terra type is poisoned. Uh, physical. All right. Just have it as Iron Head. And gyro ball. How fast is it? It seems reasonably fast, I think. It's faster than Larvitar, but that's a low bar. Maybe average speed. Hard to say. I'm guessing it will probably evolve into the car that the Team Star people use. But probably not 
quite that ornate. I get the impression that they get their own special car. That is not actually playable. What's in here? Oh, it's a picnic store. I also explored, I finally explored the big city, whatever it's called, off stream, and it turns out that a lot of the, a lot of the stores, a lot of the doors are just the same entrance copy and pasted two or three times. Just to like fill out a wall with entrances, even though it's just, it's all just one store. Backpack. What a weird looking... Who wears something like that? Backpack. That's more like a briefcase. Where in, where in the world are square brick backpacks common? It's, it's kind of so dumb that I like it, though. I want a square backpack. That looks incredibly uncomfortable. I don't think I want to put on any glasses, but I'll see what the store has anyway. It's a lunchbox for your back. We get some egg. Are there Eggman glasses? Oh, there's Harry Potter. You're a trainer, Harry. That is very Harry Potter looking. Yes? Round sunglasses? Oh, the, no, they're not dark enough. They need to be smaller and darker. I want Eggman glasses. Glasses. It's quite a variety at this particular store. Hello, Gleam. No work today? You just happen to be off? I don't know what the snow conditions are like down there. Vancouver Battleground hasn't been too bad for the most part. We got a little bit on the ground. Okay, so where do I want to go next? I said that I would go check out this this guy right here. In fact, I believe... Is this the steel? No, this is the Quaking Earth one. I think the Steel Titan, I have heard, is where we get the... You get- we get like a big jump. What are you? It's a Terra-type palace? Not palace, and Sandy Gast. Alright. Sure, I'll take that. The Terra-type Pokémon are actually arguably easier to catch. Because you don't have to worry about knocking them out. You can just use your strongest move. And it will always just knock off their Terra type before, uh... Oh, I didn't heal. Whoops. get it to low health and knock off the terror type. So that's nice. I also need to buy more. I need to heal. I need to buy more balls. And uh, what else? There was something I was going to catch that I'm suddenly drawing a blank on.
U-turn. It's a bug move, I know that. Was that physical or it's a physical attacker, so uh, acid spray is not as important. I also don't really need switcheroo though. Even though it, syn it synergizes with Unburden. If it loses its shovel, it will stick something else, like a branch, into its head to make do until it finds another shovel. It specifically likes shovels. Did this Pokémon not exist before the invention of the shovel? Oh, uh, the... The towers. I found one of the I found one of the towers that have the the Gimigool chests in them. Where was that? Oh, I should have put like a marker or something. I guess I'll just have to keep an eye out for another one. Yeah, I ran into one. I ran into two, in fact, but uh, I did not catch, I did not challenge the, the the chest on top because I wanted I wanted to save it for stream. I'll just I'll keep an eye out for uh, future towers. I wonder how many gimme ghoul coins I'm up to. I feel like I've gotten like a hundred by now. Uh, does the engine evolve by level? Like, that, that'll that evolve if I, if I just keep it in my party, right? Set his destination. This game also doesn't really route for you. It just kind of puts the marker on the map so that you can see it. And that that's it. All you had to do is approach the tower and it becomes an area you can fly to. Huh. Oh, that's not what I... I didn't want to fight that. That's a floody, fluddle thing. Fluttershy. I, I get it. Flittle. Because little. Now get out of here, birds! Why is everything in the desert so feisty? Area I can fly to. That one's the lighthouse. Oh, hey. Watchtower. Gleam, how did you evolve your uh, your walking evolution Pokemon? Did you just run in a circle on one of these like I did? It's weird that they felt the need to have a treasure chest style mimic in Pokemon, given that they've always had mimics. The, the Voltorbs and the, the Fungus are the effective mimics of the Pokemon verse. Cool. 
I think I will, uh, I will look for a creature that I can use as a catcher between streams. There must be a good way to farm them. I think I've heard the, the best method is to just fight these guys and you get like 50 per, right? I don't know how often they respawn, though. Is it like once a day? This Pokemon was born inside a treasure chest about 1,500 years ago. It sucks the life force out of scoundrels who try to steal the treasure. Chest form. So there's... I assume there's a form when it's out of the chest. Oh, that's also a watchtower, the one in the desert. Jumping on top of the Pokemon Center. I did that. It uh, didn't work. It, it ran around for a little while, but it would always, no matter what position I was in, it would always eventually stop. Tumbleweed. Dung Beetle. Those are the other two walking evolutions, I think. The Tumbleweed and the Dung Beetle. Some Hippopotus around. Dumb-looking Pokemon. Larvesta. I get... How rare is that? I feel like I should probably get it. Get out of... Ankle Biter! I hate these things. I dare arm thrust. It's not very, very effective, but this Pokemon has some low stats as well, if I remember correctly. That'll be fine. Ow. Once again, forgot to uh, forgot to buy more balls. Yeah, low catch rate. I could use arm thrust again. But what if it hits five times again? I'm, I'm gonna have to. I see that thing in the background. That's one of them, uh... That's one of them crater Pokemon. Just kind of walking around being a, being a titan. Try taking it. The the Titan Pokemon? I assume that's the Titan. It's not just something walking around. This Pokemon was called the Larva that Stole the Sun. The Fire Larvesta spout from its horns can cut right through a sheet of iron. 
fighting it, I mean. But can I go to a Pokemon Center first? It's not going to disappear, right? I, gu I guess I don't have to. I have, I have a million he healing items. I feel like these menus could go a little bit faster. Not the end of the world, but uh, would be nice. Oh, hello. You just, uh, just walking around fully evolved? I'll bet you're not level 64. Are you? Turn around. Turn around. Ignore me. Level fifty six, stronger than the Titan Pokemon. All right. Well, uh, it's still below level 64, so how do you exist? Trained by, trained by uh, Lance with his stupid level 40-something Dragonites. I maybe could have taken that with the type advantage, gotten some nice EXP. I was, I was just curious what level a wild Braviary would be at. What are you? Oh, it's a hip hip hippow, Don. Don hippow. I would probably forget about polka dolls more often if they weren't part of that infamous sequence break in Gen One. You know, cheesing past the Marowak ghost. There's stuff on the ground. You found a mass outbreak of wild something. I didn't read that in time. All right. Flittle. All right. Gotta be real sneaky. That there's a wild tusk. One bite from its fangs is enough to tear a human in half. Let's see if we can sneak up on it. Go on, get him. Def ankle biter! Alright, plan B. Oh, this is a ground type. I shouldn't be using my electric. Whoops. Hello. This Professor Sada. Great Tusk is Pokemon that came from Great Crater. Do whatever is needed to subdue it with all due caution. Ugh. Uh, so I don't actually know what type it is. I know Dawn Fan is, is a ground type, so, uh... I'm gonna guess I'm probably not using the right Pokemon for this task. Let me see if I can paralyze it. It's gonna spin all over me. Yeah, yeah, I, I anticipated that. All right. Well, I kind of I screwed myself by opening with uh, with not not a chew. So I'll let him go down because I don't want to swap into something else. And I might just use the same tactic that I used against the car. I'm, I might just spam Mud Slap a little bit. He's doing a little damage. That wasn't too bad. And smack.
Where's what's his face? Where, where's Gordon Ramsay? He's, he's not here for this? All right, get him. My triple pimples. Mud slap. Oh God, knockoff was enough? How strong is knockoff now? That was buffed, I know that. Over the course of the generations. I can yawn. I can, I can make him a sleepy boy. Sixty-five. Okay, so yeah, it was. What was it? Wasn't it originally like forty? Was knockoff? It didn't used to be sixty-five. Uh, what? What's his face? The the bear. When it evolved, it learned a move that is effectively a revive. It gets to revive a party member. Only has one PP, and apparently two Pokemon in this game learn it. I can see how it would be interesting for competitive. I didn't teach it because I, I have like a million revives. What would I ever use that for in single player? It's a waste of a move slot. It begins. All right, now that it is asleep, I'm going to cake both of its eyes with mud so that it will wake up disoriented and confused. Or I'll just fucking die. Yeah, knockoff is one of those moves that was like, super buffed over the course of its life. Hmm. I don't want to send an Egad because Egad could uh, could. No, I can't poison it. I had another Pokemon that had. Uh... I had another Pokemon that had Poison Point. Whooper! That was it. I guess I could reload, but I'm not a quitter. So my plan, I think. Is uh, put it to sleep, lower its accuracy. If I can get that done, then I'll have a sh then I'll have a shot to take out this thing. You know, once it's missing every attack. The eel is not even worth... I, I'll just have it at half health. If it takes a hit, it's dead anyway. I would suggest static if it didn't have rapid spin. Static? What does... Uh, what does rapid spin... You're talking about the Pokemon ability, static. The one that paralyzes? Does that work on ground types? Also, what what does what does rapid spin have to do with it? Does it like cure itself of paralysis? Komala is in this game. I saw a couple of those last stream. Which is a cool sounding Pokemon, but is probably not as good once you think about it. Rapid spin, it raises speed now? I, I assume that was like its ability or something. Uh, what is Snarl? Snarl loses lower special attacks. I could try to burn it, that could also be useful. Ooh. Oh, I don't need I don't need to lower its accuracy anymore. I can, I can just I can take it with this. My little crocodile dude. He's got this. It would have been nice to get some hits with the worm, but uh 
Well, I knew it. I knew it got rid of uh, stage hazards. That's what, what it's always done. The speed sounds new. Oh, that's right. These are all like two-phase battles. Now it goes to eat the plant and get stronger. Do I get healed before I fight the next one, or should I go heal myself? Yeah, it's over there now. Causing vague lapses in reality in the in the nearby area. I right. Oh, hey, great, good for me. Before I forget, I load up on balls. Let me just take care of that real quick. This is nice. I'm, I'm glad that they updated this to, uh, to work with the appropriate number of uh, Premier Balls. Not that I'm going to use any. I guess I could sell them back if I wanted to. So the next Titan that I'm supposed... Is this the next one I would be supposed to fight? Or... Uh... Would the steel one be next? I'm just kind of wandering to places that are nearby, is what I'm doing. I haven't been using the, uh... I haven't been using the list of uh, destinations. I feel like this could actually have been inspired by Breaking Bad, this background track. Like, I wonder if this desert would sound like this had the show Breaking Bad never existed. Turn. I haven't seen... Uh, sorry, that's Cacnea. Or is that Cac... I get them confused. I haven't seen the pre-evolved form yet. The steel one is the weaker one. That's what I thought. They're kind of... I guess by design a little bit, you're supposed to run into things that you're not ready for yet. Because it's not a straight line around the region in level order. You, you just kind of... They're, they're speckled all over the place. Which I guess is good for an open world game. Hello. Just waiting. He's ready for me. Cacnea is the small one. Like you found yourself a titan. That's the Quaking Earth Titan? Is that thing even a Pokemon? Must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Is this the spicy one? It looked red.
Oh, that's right. We have uh, we have two now. Scovillain. Is that is that the evolved form of the Pepper? That looks. <laughs> What a dumb-looking Pokemon. I love it. I like to call the Area Zero exclusives Digimon. That's correct. Donphan has Armor Digivolved into Great Tusk. Some of them even have multiple forms. They, they can they can Digivolve two in two different ways. There's the past version and the future version. Do I dare? I'm, I'm, I'm just like praying it doesn't target me. I'll, I'll give it a turn. I'll make sure that uh, this arming voice is super effective. I guess that's an advantage to fighting it twice. The second time you know what's good against it. So it's ground dragon type? What is fairy good against? Fairy's good against dragon... Is that it? I don't remember what else Fairy is strong against, if anything. I'm probably high enough level that I could just I could just power through, but I'm I'm wary enough. I feel like the accuracy lowering is helpful. Dark and fighting. Okay. So, I'm gonna guess it's ground dark type. That thing is not a dragon. Gleam is very offended at the suggestion. I don't know. There have been less dragon looking things that are classified as dragons. The fucking cotton bird's a dragon. What a sleepy boy. Yes, miss. Now I can finally use my synchronized swimming attack to bring this to an end. Does it really have to go in and out for every single hit? Come on. It is also clearly more in the realm of physical defense than special defense, though, so, uh... My super effective water attack is not as damaging as the fire attack I was previously using. You did it. Everybody levels up. Kilua wants now? Wait, you're, you're what level? You're level 33 and you're just now learning slam? No, I'm not going to learn slam. Fuck slam. Get out of here. What even was that thing? Kind of felt like maybe I've seen it somewhere before. Bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica I was eating. Yeah? Before that thing decides to come back. No, we, we killed it. It is bleeding out on the ground. I'm harvesting it for materials, Monster Hunter style. Do we get materials from Titans? We should. We should get a lot of materials from them. It's the sour one? Yep, it's the sour Herba Mystica. There's not a salty taste. On the on the, the 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 berry Pokemon taste spectrum, 
I guess they went with dry instead. You don't really get salty fruit. Let's see, what does the book have to say? It's chock full of nutrients, it's great for boosting your overall health. That's the same thing it said about the other two, but okay. Perks you right up. This'll definitely help my boss stiff feel better. You help my stiff feel better? This guy's making a lot of assumptions about this magical food and its effect on his dog. He is getting so lucky that they all are all turning out to be correct. All right, give, give me your Titan, Titan badge. My cardboard cereal box prize for helping Arvin out. That's a very Deku face my character's got going on right now. Oh, I also don't remember if I got them on stream. I think I did. I, I found purple tights. I got purple space tights on. I made extra this time for that brute of yours. You like that? Hey, dog? Yeah. Made a right dog's dinner of this dish. Hello, Darian. I, I beat the water guy and I beat a uh, titan that I was technically not supposed to be fighting yet, but whatever. Supposed, I guess you're supposed to fight whatever you can fight. It's kind of weird that they don't show, like, any levels tied to the Titans. You really just have to feel out how strong they are. This brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs, too, I guess. Its own sort of way, yeah. Or I forget, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herb of Mystica when we find them. Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's something in the herbs that's making the Titan so big and strong. That means a Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever. Just a pantry where the Titan keeps its food? Sure. It just woofed. I didn't hear nothing. I'm sure of it! You must have heard it! Yeah. You're, you're a good boy, Seymour. Who's the best of boys? Yes, you are! Out of Gordon Ramsay likes dogs. Give this game an Oscar. It's got a story about a sad dog. Or a sad story about a dying dog. That It's not gonna die though, we're gonna make it better. Remember Balto? That was a movie everyone kind of forgot about over time. It was pretty big at the time. I don't remember who made it. So it was, I think it was either Fox or Don Bluth. Okay, I can now glide. I don't have the big jump yet, but I have the glide. It's nice that we have this. I liked in Dragon Quest Builders 2 that we got the glide very early in the game. This, we're about you know, a, little, a little over halfway. Maybe right, right at halfway. We've been doing things a little bit out of order. Uh.
catch some of these things that I haven't caught yet. Sandaconda and the Hippowdon. Hippowdon? Hi Hippopotus, that's the pre-evolved one. And Silicobra. I guess thanks to Yawn, my, uh, my crocodile's also kind of a catcher right now. Uh, once again, just checking. Everything looked good on your guys' end. Restream was mentioning some kind of uh, error with uh, with the encoder. I don't think I like Silicobra. It's, it's mostly the, it's the evolution that I don't love. The weird giant exploding neck snake thing. Alright, so where should I go next? I heard the psychic gym was like level 50 or something, so I probably should not detour there. YouTube is lagging behind, but that's usual. You mean just like, uh, like there's a, del a delay between when you type something and when it appears on screen, right? It's not like stuttering or anything? Can I just like do nothing? No, I gotta, I gotta use a, I gotta use a move. Does it come up? Okay, good. Dig ends if it falls asleep underground. Imagine it just stayed down there forever. I also notice this happening a lot. When you fight a Pokemon on a slope, the ball just lands and kind of hovers. Which one is it? Male or female? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'll catch the uh, the other gender later. All right, so what, what's our map look like? Let's get it uh, north oriented again. Psychic gym is down here. I kind of, I honestly, I would rather move on to new areas though, because we haven't been to a new area in a while. There's the, there's Medali. There's the, that's the normal type gym, and it's also where the elf mentioned the amulet coin is located. So, uh, let's go adventuring. Let's head to the normal type gym. Let me uh, set a destination. Kind of weird how every city has uh, two Pokemon Centers. Pokemon Centers have graduated to uh, Starbucks status. <gasps> Our town has like 10,000 people, but three subways. Figure that out. There's those uh, those dogs again. What what are what are my what are my Pokemon at? They're getting there. I'm still waiting. I'll I'll, I'll wait a little bit longer before I bring in the uh, the hammer, hammer thing. I don't I don't love how Pokemon continue to move and like come up on top of you 
while you're in the menu saving or whatever you're doing. Hello. Let's fight. What does casseroya mean? I don't... Casserole? Let me make a note for myself. Find false swipe mod. That, that's something I'm gonna do off stream. Because I feel like I need a better... I, I need a better catcher than this. What an annoying Pokemon. Sandy Gast Palisand is Ground Ghost. I can neither use False Swipe nor Thunder Wave on it. Just use Seismic Toss, that's an option. I, I, I feel like they're usually very intentional about how well-equipped they make a Pokemon for being used as a catcher. Most gens don't have a Pokemon that can learn both False Swipe and, like, a non-electric paralysis move like Stun Spore. Uh, Rock It already knows Rock Slide. I'm not going to learn Smackdown. Backwards move order. Uh, Masquerade. Bug water. Seismic toss is also fighting. That's correct. It would not work on a ghost type. Idea, which there's so many variables you can think around if you want to like hyper focus on one good catching Pokemon. You'd have like uh, I don't know foresight or something. I like something like uh, like force, Foresight, False Swipe, Stun Spore. What are those? Are those Sableyes? They are. Alright, I already have a Sableye. I just, the one I found was in a cave, so I'm surprised to see him just running around like this. I, I haven't done a picnic yet. Maybe maybe I should do one. Maybe is is that like uh, is that like a field heal, like Curry in the last game? I'll put a rain check on that. I will try to remember to picnic during this stream. Some Staravias. Flaffy. We're still in the same general vicinity. Colonnade Hollow. We haven't encountered... There aren't really any caves in Paldia. Or there's very few, I gotta say. We haven't really had like a Mount Moon or a Rock Tunnel. I'm cool with that. What is why why was it so few polygons? Did we did we see the low poly model when the battle started? Oh, my God. 
Metatite sweat. Ugh. It never skips its daily yoga training. It heightens its inner strength through meditation. It's a smurf. It's Punch Smurf. Alright, what is it? This is a, uh, a Noibat. Do I have a Noibat? It's also like, why would I ne ever need to, like, picnic for health? Because I have all of these items to use up. Hit the bat! Aim lower. There we go. I do not have a Noi Bat yet. I was. Oh, whoops. That's right. Noi Bat has a uh, kind of low stats. What is that? Oh, it's a it's a gibble. A giblet. Another noy bat. Let me go for another one. Take two. Against my better judgment. Yeah, okay, spark won't work. That's alright. I don't want to spend too much time on stream catching things. I got a female Salandit already. That was one of the things that I caught in the previous cave that I found. I also got a Sableye. Hey, buddy! A Larvitar. Dunsparce. a pretty sizable hollow. What's up there? I do I need I need big jump to get up there or I need to fall from the ground above. Tyranitar is my favorite pseudo legendary, yes. I do like the I I kind of like Hydra Hydreigon and I like uh, the ghost boomerang thing because I like their I like their typings. Dragon Dark and Dragon Ghost are cool. I don't know, I thought that looked climbable for some reason. Where am I going? Yeah, I'm on the right path. There's the bridge right there. Anything new out here? There's more Choodles and Psyducks. Again, I'm surprised by the lack of water Pokemon. I would expect there to be more, like, variety in rivers and things, but there's just kind of not. Tro Is that a shiny Tropius? No, it's just a Tropius in the dark. But I like Tropius, so I'm going to catch it. It's three things. It's a dinosaur, it's a tree, and it flies. That's why it's cool. There's also a primate back there. Uh, spark will be super effective, unfortunate, unfortunately. No, it won't. It's, uh, it's neutral. I can get away with Spark. <laughs> Also, I have a backup Tropius I can see in the background there. I kind of wish that, that Tropius got like an evolution or a, or an Area Zero form or something. I, I feel like it's, it doesn't get enough love. It's a cool little Pokemon that is not just not strong enough to be useful most of the time. Skarmory is a single evolution flying type, and it's great. It's got lots of uses.
It lives in tropical jungle jungles. The bunch of fruit around its neck is delicious. The fruit grows twice a year. That's all. It's such a goofy concept, a flying plant dinosaur. What is that? That's Fletchling, Fletchender, Middle Firebird. Alright. Show me your illusions. The design is cool, but it's inexplicably weak. Right, that's what I'm saying. Kind of like Onyx, actually. It's got Onyx Syndrome. Except it's not even... Like, Onyx has the excuse of being basically the first boss of Pokemon. It's the big scary thing Rock has to spook you. But it also can't be too crazy because it's, it's so early in the game that you have to have a chance against it. So there's like a reason that Onyx's stats suck. It's not really the case with uh, with Tropius. It just kind of got the short end of the stick. I'm also using this guy a disproportionate amount this stream just because you know, he's good for catching. So I like to keep him at the front of the party. Salma. Wait, she's a model. Why is she talking about illusions? Okay, because of Zor Zorua. So to find Zorua, I just have to, like, fight everything and attack it and try to break the illusion. Or does the illusion break as soon as you enter the battle, like it did with Ditto? It's a fungus. And a Sudawudu, and a Kamala. Alright. Oh! Get out of here! I swear I'm trying not to get distracted by every single new Pokemon I see. I can get those off-stream. Actually, I need things to do off-stream. Okay. Egad is evolving. If you ZL target, the game tells you the true Pokemon name. Oh, that's useful. What the hell does this thing turn into? Oh, that! I've seen that. It, it's Graphi ya 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 The toxic monkey Pokemon. The color of the poisonous saliva depends on what the Pokemon eats. Graphii covers its fingers in its saliva and draws patterns on trees and forests. So if if Rafiki was one of these, then Simba would be dead. Doodle. It's it's like a, a poison smeargle. What does Doodle do? Captures the very essence of the target in a sketch. Changes the abilities of the user and its ally Pokemon to that of the target. Hmm. That sounds potentially very useful. Although I'm sure it doesn't work on, on the, like, really broken abilities, like, uh, like Wonder Guard or anything. Comatose. Alright. Monkey, you're out. What type is it? Normal poison? Yeah. Poison normal. I wanna see what, uh, I wanna see what Jerry and Jerry evolve into. I'm pretty sure it evolves into like four mice, but I, I wanna see it anyway. The delay is so bad. Could. Could you not, like, just watch on Twitch? Is that running too badly or something? There's some Persians out and about. There's a uh, Vigoroth. I haven't seen Slakoth. Slakoth. 
I've got a shroomish already. How do, how do you ZL target on something? Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, hello. Wait, no, get back here. You're not getting away. Literally the first one that we targeted. Is Spark gonna be too strong for Zerua? It killed the trainer Zerua, so I'm gonna say probably. I'll bet I could dig it though. Cry all you want. My balls are coming for you. Oh my god, really? Got some Zerua fur. Well, I guess it should be obvious from the Vigoroths, because actual Vigoroths come towards you. Alright, there's gonna be another Zerua. Right here. Right here. Boy, this, this target is, like, very finicky. It only works when it wants to. I would love a better fighting attack than Armor Thrust. I have a TM for Drain Punch, but this thing can't learn it. Well, it's Prevolution couldn't learn it. Maybe this one can. I guess I'll just have to get Azula later. I don't even like Zerua that much anyway. Hot take. TMs, TMs, Drain Punch. Please? Ah, man. Why not? It's a fighting type. ZL, 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 why do you not? I, I don't get it. I found a Maga Berry. Is Smeargle in this game? I like Smeargle. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. Well, unassuming little dude. With an infinite toolkit. My Pokemon is obviously the cutest, but my friends just don't get it. Alright, what what wacky, unattractive Pokemon does she have? Oh. No, it's an actually cute Pokemon. Okay. Well, you're just... you're vapid then. What is this one? It's Electric Fairy was this not a chew. Oh, no Smeargle? Man! Was he in Sword Shield?
What are you? Oh. I get excited whenever I see, I, I see a Pokemon flying. Like, it should be something that I don't see on the ground, but no. It's always something that I can catch on the ground just flying. No Smurgle since Sun and Moon. Man! Just not worth programming, I guess. It's that thing that that the wind the wind waker enemies are always talking about. The dead end dead ends. Yeah, heal me, idiot. Use another one. I can hurt you, but you can't hurt me. Does that stop a Pokemon from swapping out with Volt Switch if I have Volt Absorb? That's kind of funny if so. Who else do I like? I like Absol. I don't know if Absol's in this game. I like uh, Metagross. Would not be surprised if he isn't. As Metagross is also a pseudo legendary, so, uh,. Yeah, he's my second favorite. Then, I guess Hydreigon. I only really care about those two, Tyranitar and uh, Metagross. If Metagross was a Digimon, what would its name be? Calcumon. Compumon. It's like a supercomputer, right? That's its that's its gimmick. Gen 3 was cool enough to have two pseudos. Gen 3 had overall the, the best Pokemon design, in my opinion. And I can say that without bias because it was not my first generation. It was my third generation. I was here from the start, and Gen 3 had the coolest mons. Suck it. What's funny is that I'm also on a slight delay. Just insofar as I hear the audio from the game a second after it happens. And it's only really jarring at moments like that because I heard the Pokemon Center theme like a second after I left it. I reflect. Alright, let's see what normal gym is like. I get, this is just the stream where I'm going to be using this, uh, this... I guess I'd better get my use of him in. The uh, electric fist guy. The bear. I should have called, called him Winnie the Pooh. Because uh, I will probably... I might replace him with a better catching Pokemon come next time. Really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. But I didn't chase you down just to battle you. Not that I would mind a battle or anything. What do you say? Alright. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon for where you're at in your journey. Okay. I, I gotta fight the gym first. Is there a challenge to this gym? Of course there is. All of them have challenges. A 
Larry. Larry's the coolest. Remember, live like Larry. Ordering a special secret menu item. But I thought we did that. We just did the, the, the chef gym leader. What is this mouse Staffa shit? I got a, a dry dizzy dial, dried shroom, dried shroom dizzy dial. There are three other challengers currently attempting this gym chat gym test. Each challenger has been given a different clue that'll help them discover the secret dish. You'll be given a clue as well. Looks like it's a mystery gang. All right, so we need to gather clues and use them to ter determine the secret dish. This sounds needlessly convoluted. Find out how the regulars season their dishes. So I, I gotta go fight a regular restaurant customer and also three other gym challengers. If they really expect that, that's the most that they've expected me to do on one of these gym challenges so far. I've only had to fight like one other trainer. There were a couple in the olive rolling field, but I, I just rolled around them. Cafe. Are there any more clothing shops? Any new clothing shops? Cafe. No. They don't sell clothes in this town. All right. I guess no one in this town wears clothes. Seafood fresco. Wait, is this not... Is that not the place I was going? Oh, that that's the guy. You can change your Pokemon's Terra type at the treasure eatery, but the chef turned me away the moment I asked about it. I'm sorry, you can change it? Oh, this is the place. We also have the secret dish for those of you currently taking on the gym test. Uh, what, what are you feeding your precious Widow Waddler? I, I need to know about your menu preferences. Hey, talk to me. No? Okay, she, she does not talk, only the pig talks. Why do the tables look like school desks? This is a big restaurant. I would not want a bus here. I don't know anything about no secrets. Are you a regular here? Nice squeeze of lemon gives any dish a refreshing kick. Any dish? Only Sith deal in absolutes. Well, I, I got some, something lemon. Now, now I gotta find, like, three other people, I guess. Are they going to be outside, or are they going to be in the restaurant? Okay. No, it, it's pretty obvious where they are. I just have to... I have to beat up a child in order to get the information I need. Look, look at that pose. Look at that confidence. She, she's gonna go on to do stuff. That's a future CEO. That's not going to save her for me, but I was I was impressed by her moxie.
She looks like she could perhaps be an enemy sand user. Ow! Was that Super Fang? Oh, uh, I should have asked, is the mouse a level evolution? Uh, it's a physical attacker, not a special attacker. Double hit. Why does it know bullet seed, though? Encore's dumb. Here, get out of here, Encore. Redent. That's the... That's the evolved squirrel. Tandem mouse. I misspelled it. Oh, because it's it spelled like dead mouse, like German. Evolves into into uh, level 25 when leveled up in a battle. It will skip the evolution animation if leveled up in a battle it was not sent out in. But will still... Okay, that's a weird thing to have to point out. And it has a different form determined by its encryption... What? Encryption constant. Is that the thing that determines what uh, what Wurmple evolves into? Is it? It's, it's one of those like basically random evolutions. I knew it had different evolution forms, so that's that. That was not. Uh, that was not spoiled for me. I I, I kind of spoiled myself on it, but that was before before the stream today. It's very easy to scroll just slightly too far on our web page. What's down here? Nothing. Just okay. The ancient Colosseum. That's where they keep the lions. I also did not- I completely zoned out when that- that little girl gave me her- her hint. What did you spoil? Uh, I was- I- I was looking up a list of the Paldia Pokedex. I got to Tandem Mouse, I scrolled a little too far, I saw that it evolved, and that it had a form listed under the evolution. So, I knew that whatever it evolved into had multiple forms. Well, I hope the game mem remembers their, like, hints for me, because I was not paying attention. Oh, there she is. Look for something that's the odd one out at one of the ice cream stands. Okay, well, there's the restaurant. Ice cream stand. Now, is that where I'm going next, or is that where I'm going eventually? What's this? Can I buy... Can I... Is this clothes? No. I... I thought teriyaki ice cream was a pretty much odd one out, but, uh... No, what they want is, uh, the... The grilled donuts. That's what they want.
Is that a real thing? Do people grill rice balls? So uh, this is something that was being pointed out. That's our uh, that's our eating animation. It's just like it, everything thrown together on one screen without any actual eating taking place. Okay, well the odd thing out was grilled rice balls. Okay, so I didn't actually maybe I didn't actually have to buy that. Maybe I just had to I had to take down the note. You know what? I got notepad open. Grilled rice balls, splash of lemon. I picked up some coins while I was cleaning. Here you go. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, that's a thing to just find lying around. Leftovers? Great. No, she's she's having a bad day. She doesn't want to talk. Is she blushing? I'm trying to see this NPC. It for a second it looked like she had like the anime drunk character blush. Any of y'all taking the gym challenge? Anybody? I also found like a vault entrance when I was exploring, so I don't know what that is yet. Oh, hey, there we are. I, so I gotta look for the ones with the yellow signs. Santiago. I feel like I've run into a Santiago in this game. That's a great battle view. No, go back to the previous one. I, I like that camera. Can we get back there? That's fine. This is a good screen. Just witness my stand hands attacking my mysterious opponent. As people walk by in the background. I think I had to go back and, uh, like, move relearn Yawn for my starter, for the crocodile. Because, uh, apparently, when Pokémon level up on the field because of auto battle, they do not learn new moves. Which kind of seems like a design flaw. Uh, Gyro, yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of Gyro Ball. That seems kind of, kind of pointless on this... Average speed combatant. You want that on like uh, on Pharisee, something with real low speed. Wait, where'd you go? Oh, how did we get so far away? Listen really closely to the blue bird Pokemon.
What does your Twitter feed have to say to me? Talkability? Is that it? That's the cue. Medium. Okay. This is easily the most convoluted gym challenge yet. I wonder if they're going to keep getting, like, more and more elaborate. Are you a clothing store? No? Okay. There's a dress code? Oh, the kids want to go to the fancy restaurant. It, I guess this is just the restaurant town. So is this the is this the friendship checker lady? No, it's not. You tricked me. You lured me in with lines of dialogue from a previous Pokemon game. feel like I'm being given the runaround. Where's the guy with the, the amulet coin? He must be at one of these two Pokemon centers. Are you he? She? No. Okay, must be the must be the other one. There we go. There she is. Hey. Do you have a clue about the secret dish? They don't even seem like they're trying to fight each other. They're just kind of standing around waiting for me to come to them. Oh, an Ursa ring. A very felty, fuzzy Ursa ring. Look at that construction paper coming out of his shoulders. Why? Why? Why is an Ursa ring making a scent? What did it just do? Was there a third form or Ursaring? Or am I misremembering? Did it get a new form in one of the games? Maybe in, uh, maybe in Legends, Arceus? Man. Larvitar's move pool. Larvitar's move pool never updates, but it doesn't need to, because it's always been great. Just some nice, hard-hitting attacks. That's all he needs. Can't believe this gym test makes us steal each other's clues. That's fighting dirty. No, that's just fighting. A dark spot surrounded by stairs. Well, there's only one spot surrounded by stairs. Is this where I fight the lion? Fire blast. Okay. Well, in theory, I have all the clues now. Where's the guy? Yeah, there's the guy.
I gotta defeat three more trainers to get the amulet coin. I'll probably be doing that off stream is fighting more uh just trainers around the world. Did my mouse evolve? Did I completely miss the fact that my mouse evolved? Hold on. Mouse hold. Yeah, it uh, it evolved. I completely missed the evolution screen. Or it's just it, it that must have been why it pointed it out on Bulbapedia. There's some like easy way to miss this Pokemon's evolution. It's just uh, it's just four mice now. Okay. And it has a uh, it has a very low chance of evolving into a three mouse household instead of four. Which in theory that would just be weaker, I assume. I can't imagine the three mouse form is as strong as the four mouse form. Well, it's healed now, so let me, uh... What else have we got to train? I could... I'm get. You know what? I'm finally at the point that I can bring in... Where is she? There's Amy. Get her in there. Add a new party member. Unless something changes, I feel like these are five, my f five out of six so far. And Kahlua could use a break. Although, he is fighting type. I'm about to go into a normal type gym, so I guess I should keep him a little longer. I have five out of six, and I've got uh, one free slot for evolving things. I could also just not... I'm not too worried about evolving new Pokemon, because uh, then some trainer will have it, and I'll look at it, and I'll see, what the hell is that stupid thing? I kind of already know what the what the engine turns into. Or we have a pretty good idea, at least, after the Team Star bases. Okay, we order with her. Uh, I will order the grilled rice balls in medium. Uh, fire blast style. With lemon. Oh. Wait, where did all those people go? Are they just continuing to eat underground now? Can you do that? They know what they're here for. They, they know what kind of building this is. I, d I don't know. We'll never know what happened to them because they didn't fucking bother animating it. Animation is expensive. You know, Nintendo's a small indie company. Let's 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 live like Larry. He's a salaryman. I like Larry. I'm assigned to work as the gym leader of the Medali gym. Good job on the gym test. Maybe try other dishes on the menu too sometimes. Everything's good here. So am I, am I getting my food, or was that just the code? I'm kind of hungry as well. My, dos, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. A salaryman gym leader. What a character. F 
fucking Larry. I kind of hope Jack doesn't uh, Jack doesn't watch this part of the stream too quickly. I kind of hope he gets to see Larry fresh. All right, I cannot paralyze Komala. That's about the only good thing about Comatose. It's immune to uh, status conditions. However, that also means it cannot use rest. That's basically it. It can't use rest. Sorry, Larry. I'm here to win. Dudun Sparse. Okay. Here it is. This is what it looks like. It's... That's it? It's just Dun Sparse, but bigger. I thought it would turn into something cool. It's just a bigger Dun Sparse. Man. I was expecting a dragon or something. I'll just, I'll, I'll keep at it. If he goes down, he goes down. Oh well. Not like I haven't already overused him this stream. <laughs> Are those people just under the arena right now, feeling like the ceiling shake at every hit? Bit noisy, isn't it? What would be good? I don't know what full type this Dunsparce is. I'll send out Amy Rose. I'll just I'll, I'll keep with uh, my, my my alligator hits hard. It could be normal ground type, given the drill theme. What a, what a disappointing evolution! I I have seen the giraffe ring evolution. That one looks cooler. Star Raptor. All right. Well, my electric guy actually would have been useful there. What what else do I have against a bird? Although no, it's gonna it's gonna tear a steel eyes whatever, and it's going to be pure normal. So uh... I'm thinking about this way too much. You know what? Yeah. Send the new girl in. Let's see how she does. I'm pretty confident he's gonna go like Terra normal type, so that I could I could use Mud Slap, but uh, I'm not a hundred percent confident. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Intimidate this. Now that it's dead, it's just a normal type. Huh? Uh, what do I want? It's, uh... It's a physical attacker, so I don't want to use Flash Cannon. I might end up losing this. Come on, Larry! Step it up! We believe in you! I know we've got hungry customers. They're under the floorboards. Oh, look at look at the crowd coming in for poor Larry. That unsparse is pure normal. Okay. What 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 a disappointment. I don't even know what normal looks like. What what is the normal symbol for? It's it's just a jewel. Okay. Real life isn't all just being true to yourself. Sometimes you have to give up on your dreams. Spoken like a true salary man. 
Oh, what? It dodged? What Terra type do I have? I have a dark Terra type. I don't know if I want that, though. I have, uh... I have what's it? I have Larvitar, but I don't think it's, uh... I don't know why I want to use it. Because it's, it's such a lower level than this bird. I'll try the tried and true stat. I mean, tried and true. The, the tried and sometimes failed strat. But uh, le let me attempt to lower its accuracy. It's going to die immediately because this thing can still not take a hit. You fool. You've exposed yourself to my ultimate technique. And there it goes. I Maybe I won't use Unagi. I, I kind of like it, ironically, but it also just dies to a stiff breeze. What other water types are in this game that I could use? I, I might have to shop around. I wanted to I wanted to like it. I like I like its design. It's, it's got the same problem that Diglett has though. Just no defense. It's gonna fall asleep. Honestly, the yawn might have been unnecessary. I can just use a couple flamethrowers and it'll go down. my pointless, meaningless existence. Poor Larry. Don't live like Larry. You're rather strong enough to bring out my poker face. Bring out? That battle made me a bit hungry. You wanna eat? Just, just rice balls. Just plain old Boring, ordinary rice balls. Sorry, donuts. Five gym badges makes it easier to catch Pokemon up to level 45. And they'll actually listen to you. Not like my boss. He never listens to me. This is for you. Hopefully a child like you never has no need to put on its namesake. A facade. Like me, and my life. I wear a mask every day. Man, Pokemon got real. Don't worry about the bill. I do earn a salary, man. Oh, hello, tentacle hair. You look like the victim of an oil spill. Rika informed me there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. Seems she meant you. I'd guessed as much. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. You managed to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank by beating me, because I'm... Oh, sorry, I'm totally not the champion. Definitely not. I'll be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League. Not that I'm the champion who chooses the Elite Four or anything. Definitely not me. I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. Okay, so... There is a champion, but everyone who has beaten the champion also gets called champion. That's not confusing. 
La Primera. Oh, that's right. She has like a, a, a name, a title. Why do you call her that? Everyone calls her La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion. Among my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League. Isn't that kind of implicitly what the champion is too, though? I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout out some rather promising young talent. I look away for one second and you're famous? I... I guess. Am I famous? You may be La Primera, but you can't go stealing my rival from me. Shut up, Kakarot! I'm Jita! That's right. Come on, Zelrog. Time for our battle. Alright. So this just... This interaction just happens in whatever gym the fifth one happens to be. I guess it's easy enough to do that because they make sure the, the interiors of the gym buildings are, are constant. Alright. Jita is gonna watch me fight Goku. And he's... She's gonna seethe and rage. Can I, like, save first or something? No? No, oh, okay. Once we get badges from all the gyms. So they had to have a version of this cutscene outside in every town that there's a gym in. The Pokemon League is located to the northwest of Mesa Goza. That's where trainers are reborn as champions. The greatest honor that they might dream of. Aside from being me, of course. Collecting eight gym badges sets you up to take the champion assessment. You can face the challenge of the final examiner and win... What a stupid Pokemon episode that was, where... No, you could do the gym challenge and fight eight gym leaders, or you could just pass a test. That, that'll, that'll let you be, like, in the Pokemon League Championship Tournament. That's just as good. Fortunately, every single character in that show was too stupid to pass the test. You can't even call the bad episodes a Pokemon filler because it's not like it's adapting a plot. The whole show's filler. Alright, yep. Heal my mons. And no save. Just good to go. I, mean, I don't even need to save necessarily. It would be nice to have an opportunity to change out my party. But, uh, oh well. I'll do fine. She's got a lichen rock. Level 36. So whatever order you do the gyms in, I'm guessing these rival battles are all... They scale with level. Is that the special Lycanroc form? I don't rem I remember that one, and I remember the, the crazy red one, but I don't remember what the third one looked like. Alright, she's got a Gumi. Do I have any ice or dragon moves? I do not. I have... Oh, I have Fairy. Fairy's good against dragon. I forgot that. The, the hammer has, like, a band-aid on it. 
I just saw that. I think Gumi is Violet exclusive. I think that's one of the Violet ones. Paw mode. Electric fighting. The third one looks like that. Like looks like that will be like a different color. What? Uh, electric fighting, so... Yeah, fairy... Wait, no, fairy is not super against fighting, but fighting is not very effective against fairy. Larvitar, go get him. Fairy is strong against fighting, but fighting is neutral against fairy. Is that how that works? It's it's going to use a fighting move and just annihilate me. I feel like that's how this is going to go, but I, I, I want to try it anyway. Fighting is not very effective against fairy. What, what am I? Th I'm thinking of fire. Fairy is not very effective against fire, correct? Come on! Stop thrusting! Five hits, really? Well, that that was not meant to be. I don't think that this is not going to be enough. Not with this level difference. Oh, it was almost. Oh, that was close. Unfortunately, I can't take any more damage. So, uh, rip. What was it? He was using fighting. Yeah, nice try. Not quick enough. Pokemon trainers are faster than any Pokemon. On that note, with the superhuman Pokemon, superhuman Pokemon trainers thing, Doing that maneuver, like where you catch your phone and your phone stops you from dying horribly, that would, hurt, that would just, like, tear her arms off, wouldn't it? There's the... There's the furry mon. Oh, uh, is it gonna become pure dark type? I bet it is. It's gonna take away my grass super effectiveness. Oh no, okay. It, it's grass terra type. I was made aware by the list of Paldia Pokemon that uh, this is Grass Dark type. Which, that's nice. We haven't had a lot of those. We had uh, Cacturn. We had uh, the, 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 yo yo What Nuzleaf, evol N Nuzleaf evolves into. I'm drawing a blank on the name. I don't know the type of my evolution or the final form of the duck. I did not see those. So those those will be a surprise to me. People are going to start paying more and more attention to you. Okay. I got new TMs. Oh, hey. Did I hit level 36? Yeah. 
It's a fucking clown. It's It's got, like, sweet tooth hair and a flaming clown nose. Why is it a clown? Singer Pokemon? The fiery bird changes shape when Skeledurge sings. Rumor has it that the bird was born when the fireball on Skeledurge's head gained a soul. Oh, it's a bird. I, I didn't even I didn't even process that. Okay. It's a, a, a family whose gimmick is that it gets a, a fire egg and then a fire bird? Okay, what, what what is Torch Song? That's the one that it boosts the user's special attack. That's great. Uh, I could replace... It's slightly weaker than Flamethrower, but the, the special attack boost is... That's pretty good. I'll just... I'll, I'll, Flamethrower is not worth keeping over that. Amazing display of talent. That was a splendid match. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm amazing. I've got so much potential. No one told Ash that. No one told Ash he was amazing or had potential. They told him he was fucking worthless, and he was. But he worked hard. TM-171s. Plural? If the user has terrestrialized, it unleashes energy of its terra type. Inflicts damage using whatever. Okay. Whatever is higher between attack or special attack. Interesting move. Also, very. Like, is that move gonna exist in future generations? Because it, it's. The, the Terra thing is the gimmick of this generation. Maybe you could, you could have given it like maybe a less a less uh, dated name. She seems to have complete faith that you'll catch up to her. At any rate, allow me to return to the gym where I found you. I didn't even, like, look around during the battle. Is that just a generic map they use? No, that, that was the town. That was this town, wasn't it? A uh, bag. Okay, so it's 80 power. It's a normal type. Unless I'm terrestrialized, in which case it becomes 80 power. So it's just when you when you get past all the all the the bells and whistles, it's basically just an 80 power special attack, though. Like if I just if I just had flamethrower on my fire dude in his fire terra type, that would be better than this move. It sounds cool until you think about it, because I could, instead of, like, relying on a move that uses the attack or special attack stat, I could just teach my Pokemon special or physical attacks. I, I could just be smart instead. Cool in theory, I guess. Uh, well, I have, uh, I, uh, Junior's about to evolve. Let me just sneak away from the gym. It just it is guaranteed stab for terrestrializing into weird types, true. It guarantees that you have a move for whatever Terra type Pokemon that you get. Even if that Mon can't learn any... Even though Crocodile can't learn any water moves, it would have a stab water move. If it were water terra type. I, I can get how it would be situationally useful. So you want me to, to 
beat opponents in Area 3 of the West Province. It's just like around here, right? No, this is the this is the mountain. Area 3 is around here. I'll do, I'll do that off stream. I'm not going to worry about fighting like everybody. Where is the where's the steel titan? There's the ghost gym gym leader. Weird weird looking fella. Gleam said that's his favorite. Ice gym leader. Boy, they're they're right next to each other. False dragon titan. There's the fairy crew. All the starters get one water move. The fi the fire crocodile gets a water move. What? We're getting a lot of bots today. Sexiest stream on YouTube. All right. What's so? What's going on? Uh, what else can we do? There's the there's the t uh, steel titan, the steel titan. I was going to say, it'd be kind of weird for the fire croc. Uh, also, it was just an example anyway, but... Uh... I was trying to think of, like, a, f a fire, fiery water move, and it's just, like, Scald comes to mind, but that's still fundamentally a water move. Let's see what this outbreak is real quick. Oh, it's up the river. It's it, wait, it's in the town? No, I'll, I'll get there if I follow this uh, this ledge. I check the outbreak and then I'll start heading for the uh, Steel Titan. I have at most another hour that I could go. There are no lava moves, to my knowledge. There's lava plume. Eruption. That's two lava moves. Uh, oh, there's dolphin. Hello, we haven't met yet. Embor learns scald? What? Why? Where does the water come from? What is he do- what is Embor doing to produce water? Look at him. Look at look at Junior on his little floaty. There's a Marill watching us. The Marill likes me. Uh so I'm level 29. I could maybe use What can I use that's not going to kill this thing? 80 75 75. I can see if Crunch doesn't do it. Finny's end. Okay, good. What is that? That's new. I haven't seen that. No, that's Magikarp. I've seen that Pokemon. It's just... I. That is Magikarp, right? It's flopping around on... In the water, though. Dolphin Pokemon. Likes playing with others of its kind using the water ring on its tail. It uses ultrasonic waves to sense the emotions of other living creatures. I wonder if it evolves. I would wager it does. Okay, see you later, elf. There's an island out here. There's birds. Uh... What are you? Is there like a piranha? What, are, what, is, it, what is that? Oh, it's a shelter. Never mind.
Let me just fight all this all these water Pokemon in the ocean with my Larvitar. Who's that Pokemon? It's a Jigglypuff viewed from above. It's a coiled up Arbok. I wonder if that shark is an evolution out there. It is encased in a shell that is harder than diamond. Inside, it is surprisingly tender. So all those Pokemon that were just supposed to be mysterious black shadowy things are now confirmed to just be, like, squishy black balls on the inside. The Lusa. That's the thing that the water guy used. I don't want it. I don't want Larvitar to go down, but I don't have anything else weak enough to maybe damage these Pokemon. I, I really need to work out that false swipe that false swipe catcher between streams. It's super effective. Oh, I'm well, I'm glad it didn't die. What's dark good against? Is it psychic? I also see another fish that I don't no, that's an, another shelter. Never mind. I keep thinking shelters are fish. I don't know why it's weird to see shelters swimming around like that. What would dark be good against? Psychic? Uh, ghost? Is it a ghost? Hello, Gyarados. Those are the only thing, two things I can think of that Dark is good against. Ghostfish. Oh, come on! Get it. I just gotta keep trying. The only way I have to guess as to whether these creatures evolve are A, how cool do they look, and B, is there space in the Pokedex for an evolution? This thing looks like a creature that doesn't have any pre-evolved or future evolved forms. This this looks look like this looks like one of those one and done mon. The loser fillet. I'm sorry, did I cut off its flesh? Jettison Pokemon, water psychic. When Veluza discards unnecessary flesh, okay, its mind becomes honed and its psychic power increases. The spare flesh has a mild but delicious flavor. Well, that's uh that's uh humane way of saying that we eat this Pokemon, I guess. No, it, it, it discards meat that it doesn't need anymore. You can eat it. it it's PETA approved. It's just gonna go to waste otherwise. I'm sorry. It's stuck with, it's now stuck with that name forever. It's the, the vegan fish. PETAmon. What's on this island? Anything? Oh, there's the there's the crabs. And what is, oh that's the that's the, 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 the floppy thing. Well there's some cool stuff out here that I don't necessarily want to explore right now though. 
You know what? I'll look around a little bit, but I'm not going to catch the Pokemon. It has it has an attack that fillets itself. I'm sorry, what? Does it give the meat to an ally to heal it? Is that how that works? What is that? That's a Marini, or whatever the evolved form is. Toxapex? The Dolphin... I'm gonna check out this island. To see if there's any, like, especially cool Pokemon. Or, uh, maybe some items on it. Like a Dratini. This seems like a, like a mythical island where Dratini would congregate. Giga Impact. There's the evolution of, I presume, the electric birds. Giga Impact and Hyper Beam were just hanging out on this island. Not that they're that amazing moves. I don't know that I'll teach either of them, but hey, cool to have them. Somehow these electric birds are uh, coexisting with Weasel and Floatzel. Oh, those, I remember those weird pledge moves. The most weird niche moves in the continuity of Pokemon. Does anyone use those like, in competitive at all? Are there doubles teams that put those to any kind of effective use? I know just doubles on the whole is kind of uh, not that played, even though it's like the... Is that still like the quote-unquote official format for like Nintendo uh, sponsored Pokemon tournaments as they do 2v2s? Some Verzeons. What's in this terror? What's in this terror raid? It's a salt thing, the 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 knackle thing, and it's grass terror type. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. All right, back to back to Electric Town. Pledges are bad. I yeah, I figured. It'd have to be like Exodia. It would have to be like some absurdly big, hard hitting attack in order to merit spending two very two specific pokemon and both their turns on on the, just those and then it also the you have to the stars have to align for it to be super effective assuming unless you're just going to take the stab hit There would be so many variables to getting those pledge moves work to work. Also, I think they can only be learned by starter Pokemon, unless that changed. Let's see if we can get the Steel Titan before the end of the stream. I'll bet we can. We got the guy selling something to me? What's that up there? Oh, it's the it's the elephant. And Carcole. He's in this game. Ernesto. He looks like an Ernest. Ernest becomes a Pokemon trainer. What is- is this pure normal type, this thing? I don't remember. It's probably faster than me. Yeah. I should have done the- I should have done the stomping tantrum. I don't know if that hits underground, actually. I assume... A lot- a lot of ground moves hit dig. For extra damage, even.
one cologne again. You know what? I should give my, uh... I should give my physical attack boosting item to a uh, Larvitar instead of my useless eel. Come on, dig. No? I'll send out my eel, my dumb red immediately going to die eel. I can use Aqua Jet. Please be strong enough. You're boosted and everything. There you go. That little joke really cost me. Sorry, let me let me get at an angle that I can see you. Just kind of floating slightly off the ground there. Ernest gains psychic powers. Hello, Kaparaja. I'll catch you. Do sleeping Pokemon gain EXP? Should I have woken Larvitar first? Uh Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill it if I just uh if I just hit it with spark. I should probably not be catching Pokemon right now. I'm too strong for catching Pokemon. This will be the last one. I'll catch this thing, and then, then I'll ignore all the other Pokemon. What could the Steel Titan be? Could it be Copperaja? It's gotta be a new thing. All the others have been new Pokemon. Using the pointy tip of its trunk, it carves off chunks of hard rocks to eat. It is very docile and helps people with physical labor. Oh, he made a friend, Ernest. Uh, where's the Pokemon Center? I'm already... I'm not too far. I should ride my quote-unquote motorcycle more. I use the dolphin in my... Playthrough, my second favorite Gen 2 Mon, and one of the strongest right now. What is, uh, what's so good about it? Is it something to do with... I assume it evolves. Does it have, like, a special ability that's really good? A signature move? away held item. Junior, you're getting the muscle band. Where's it at? There you go. Uh, I'll give something the leftovers, something the shell bell. A lot of items I'm not just kind of not using. But you know what? I guess that's good enough for me. Unagi, you're out. Does evolve and ends up having a huge attack stat. I see. 
Okay, I, I just want to make sure I didn't, like, catch one with the wrong ability or something. Let me see what mine is like. I've got Echo the Dolphin. It has increased speed, lowered defense. What type, what is the, it's the hasty nature. Uh, water Veil prevents it from being burned. Uh, can I not, I can't rearrange moves on that, on this screen. I, I don't love the UI in this game. It's it's harder to navigate than the previous games. In my opinion. Disarming voice is only 40 and I've still got it on that. Maybe I should have maybe I should have kept flamethrower. Dolphin does not have any good moves right now, but uh, I, I could fix that. I could check my TMs out. What TMs have I got that might be useful for uh, for my our new dolphin friend? Water Pulse is special attack. Do I have any physical attacking water moves? It took me a long time to get one for, uh... To get one for... Penis Worm. Man, even Water Pledge is, uh... I could give it Terra Blast. I could give it a water move that is contingent on its on it Terra forming. Is it? I assume it's a water. Yeah, it's a water terror type. Well, you know what? I'm not going to use it on anything else. Actually, no. Oh, there's one other thing I can try. I can uh, summary, and then change moves. No, not nickname. Nickname's fine for now. Where's move relearn? Change held item. Range moves. There we go. Remember moves. Oh, that's it? Supersonic and water gun? Man. It learns dive in two levels. Okay. So it will get a it will get a better physical move than Aqua Jet at least. All right, back up the mountain. I guess that was a good time to uh, find a new Gen 9 Watermon because uh yeah, Unagi worn out her wel wore out her welcome. So what's your uh, what's your first favorite Gen 9 mon gleam? Is it the the like the Seraledge or uh oh, it, it's the weed cat, isn't it? It's the- I bet it's the final form of the weed cat. I've heard Motorcycle Dragon is amazing. I, n I never- I haven't used it in this game because, again, I'm trying to focus on mons that evolve, but, uh... Mousehold. Oh, I see. Is is Mousehold, like, is it competitively useful at all? Yep, the thing's staggeringly huge and real long. Is it, uh, it's not a Steelix. All, again, all the others have been new Pokemon, so, uh... Let's see what this, perhaps, new non-Steelix... Metal Snake might be. Maybe we have a better Metal Snake. That's a Death Clock reference. 
Uh, so yeah, you like Steel-type Pokemon, but I don't necessarily want to fight you right now. In fact, I probably shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have the dolphin right at the front of the party. I don't think it's quite, well... I guess it's at a level that it could, uh, th th this area is lower level than the areas that we've been at so far. I'll give this guy a fight. Those mice are broken in every sense. What is, uh, what's its ability even? I, I didn't take a good look at Mouse Hold. It's a jolly mouse. It's a jolly mouse hold. Reduces damage dealt to allies. Did I just like not get the right ability for it? Is the other ability broken, or what? What? What is so busted about mouse hold? Room. That's steel poison. I don't really have anything for that, so, uh... It doesn't levitate, does it? Hidden ability is technician. Oh, okay. So you combine technician with, uh, weak multi-hit moves for stupid damage. Is that, that what I'm getting at? Something I assume that they've intentionally avoided before this particular Pokemon. The signature attack population bomb can hit up to ten times. That'd do it. What is population bomb? Do they throw their children at the opponent? Are we Pikmin now? Some more Varoom around here. What was that floating up there? Oh, it's a Rufflet. It's a Growlithe. I caught a Terra-type Growlithe. I don't remember what type it was. It might have been something stupid, like a Water Growlithe. <coughs> Some caves here. Oh, I see. We we amaze now. What is this? It's a young goose. Okay, there it goes. It fell down. Nope. Uh, I don't need to fight no young goose. But well, nah. I'm just going to rob you, and I'm going to leave. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, oh, it's up here. I'm sorry, is it in one of the caves? Did I make a boo-boo? Should I not have jumped down here? up even higher. I guess it was presumptuous of me to assume that it would be in the center of the crater. What are those? Those are the Kufants. Grab a couple items. 
that I haven't sold any of. How can you be short on money in this game? There's so much stuff to sell. Alright, is this it? Is this the den? Hello. Uh, what are you? You sure are a new thing. It looks like a Mega Man enemy. Like I should fire my Mega Buster at it. Well, here goes nothing. It's a steel type. I, if it's also a ground type, then water could do something, but I don't have any good water moves, so Echo will have to... It will take a sideline for now. I touched it. Is that not good enough? Now, either this is a thing like the... Yeah, I just have to chase it around enough. Is this a future mon? Is this like future onyx? Orthworm. Orth orthworm. Orther the orthworm. Oh, rap. It's pretty scary. It's a strong move, rap. Especially on a rock type. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, there goes my strategy. And I can't swap out because of rap. I guess I'll, uh. I'll just scream at it a little bit. Is it really gonna rap me to death? I need to be released by Rap in order to swap out. But uh, if it's just going to keep using it and nothing else, whatever. I can I can outheal it if I really need to. If that's all it's going to do to me. It's just going to stand there rapping, and I'm just going to stand here hating. Uh-oh, it knows other moves. There it goes. Get out of here. Now, which one is this? Is this the sweet one? Or did we already do the sweet one? I can't believe my crocodile turned into Sweet Tooth. Oh, we don't even get any experience from the first fight. That's right. Man. Well, now that I know it's shtick, I guess I should just, uh... I'll just send out my fire crocodile at it. I don't know if it's... I'm guessing it's either pure steel or, uh, steel ground. It looks like a robot. Could be seal bug. Could be a, a giant... World's biggest bug type. We haven't had a giant bug Pokemon before. I guess the biggest was like, uh... Scolipede? Is that the final form? That's a pretty big... Larvesta? Or Vol Volcarona. That's, that's a big one too. I got it. 
I gotta chase it again. Can I ride my crocodile? I wanna ride my clown croc. Okay, so we didn't start in the center of the of the thing, but we did. We got here. We're down here now. This was too conspicuous a spot for a battle with a giant Pokemon to not be a place that we battled a giant Pokemon. Orther. Managed to pin down the Titan? Yeah. It sure is long. Think our friend might be even feistier now. It's Gordon Ramsay, Crocodile Hunter, same voice. This is the same person. No one's ever seen him in the same place at the same time. Let's try... I might as well. Oh, that's a thing that I saw. Toad School. I saw a trainer that used one of those. I think off-stream. So it's like some kind of regional, to uh, regional tentacle, but I don't know what type it is. I haven't seen any in the wild yet. much is this gonna do? A lot! Yeah. I, uh... I'm, I maybe should have fought this guy earlier. Rest in peace, Mega Man Worm Robot. And we get a Pupitar. They really shortened the evolution sequence over time. This pupa flies around wildly by venting with great force the gas pressurized inside its body. Uh, yeah, we don't need iron defense. I'm good. So I wonder if the dog gets better in specific ways for each plant. Or if it's just sequential. We gotta find the weed. Sorry, the Herba Mystica. If it was a if it was a weed, there'd be more of it. There's just it's it seems like a very small, very limited run plant. I really hope this guy plans to grow more uh, grow more of it. Oh, there is a salty one. Like this guy isn't isn't monopolizing all of these magical herbs endangered species for his one dog and no one else. Looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. What does the book have to say? Helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neuropathy and numbness. Got muscle weakness that supposedly builds up strength again. Supposedly. Yeah. I can't picture Gordon Ramsay making those sounds while cooking. It's a super healthy sandwich. This is like 80% of my da daily sodium intake. I don't know who that was. That's my trainer now, apparently. These Herba Mysticas are extremely rare and important for finding shinies. 
This has something to do with shiny Pokemon? The salty, salty sandwich. Welcome to the salty sandwich. How tough are you? That's not really a thing, is it? There's no such thing as a salty plant in the wild. And then the dog dies from a sodium overdose. Got a proper appetite now. People are gonna say this was the best story a Pokemon game's ever had. Because it has a sympathetic dog in it. It's gonna win over every animal lover in the world. Doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got, got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its truth. I'm losing the Gordon. I gotta stop. What do you mean? I've read about it in books before. A mental scar. You know, like PTSD. I think that's what you'd call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. Sure, both that brute... It might help if you stopped calling it that. Not like it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some huge effect, right? Not like it has to be immediate, either. Did it just fart? Alright, we have one more herb to go. We're four-fifths of the way on our Titan hunt. We are five gyms out of eight, I believe. And we're two star bases out of five. So we're making... Pro I, I feel like on average we're a little over halfway. Accounting for like the final area stuff. We got the Pokemon League and everything. We're probably halfway through this game. If I stream this again on Thursday and... Well, I guess we'll see how the weekend goes. Jack might be up to stream stuff again, so... Uh, we might interrupt this marathon with a Jack stream. I detect the Coridons who gain more of its original power. Now we can... Now we can jump good. No fly. Jump good. All right, well, that's another Titan down. Some Carcoles. What's our map say? Where are we? We're, there's, there's Electric Town. The last Titan will open up the whole game to you. You can travel anywhere. With, uh, with my flying motorcycle, Mon. Well, I know where the last Titan is. It's, how high a level is it? Is it like level 45, level 50? It's the dragon one, is the, is the fifth one. A highly dangerous Pokemon said to lurk in Casaroya Lake, luring other creatures close and then feeding on them. Parents unknown, mouth likely large. It's the big mouth Pokemon. In any case, we'll probably end up doing the last Titan on stream. Uh, maybe the next stream. 55? That's pretty high, but also the Titans are 
kind of pushovers. Because it's just like one big mon. And if you... They can't like swap out or anything. You can just lower their stats or something. I can pull the same kind of bullshit strategy that I pulled on the on the fire car. What else is around here? We haven't done any more star bases. The fighting base I know is the strongest, so we're not going there. There's the poison base. We could uh, head in that direction, see how bad that is. What's the way there? It's across a desert. A desert mountainous area. And then I guess start heading towards the uh, the other gyms while we're at it. I'll, uh, I'll start heading this way. I'll at least get to a Pokemon Center. I want a place to fly to before I stop, definitely. I don't want to have to walk back here again. Oh, there it is. There's the thing. I'm probably too high a level to catch it effectively, but I'll try to catch it ineffectively. Look away. You don't see me. Alright, it sees me. What are you? It's an orc worm. That's right, we saw its name. Level 22. Oh, ore. Like ore, I get it. Like metal ore. It's funny. It's clever. Is that a double... tumbleweed? Or is it just two differently sized tumbleweeds? Uh, dolphin. Get in there. You, you, you can whittle it down. You're weak enough. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna guess... I'm like 50-50 this dolphin is gonna evolve into a shark. Oh, that did, like, nothing. Uh, Rock Slide is not very effective. Crunch is normal, but... Will that kill it? How high is its defense? It's a steel type, so it should be... Yeah, it's meaty. Now, don't crit. How does a pupitar crunch anyway? Where, where is its mouth? They don't seem like they're too rare in this area. I assume, given that there's two on screen. But uh, that doesn't matter. We caught this one anyway. Orthworm Tarnish. When attacked, this Pokemon will wield the tendrils on its body like fists and pelt the opponent with a storm of punches. That seems like an ineffectual way for this creature to attack. I gotta say, its large body would seem like a, a better weapon than its tiny fists. Orther. Orther the Orthworm. I, I know it's female. I don't care. Yeah, it's another one of those, uh... Another one of those single-form mons. It's the Onyx of this gen. Probably still better stats than Onyx. Onyx Onyx's stats blow ass.
How high is this high jump? Pretty high. I dig it. Alright. I just gotta follow this path. There's a lot of stuff around here. I guess I'll probably evolve the, uh... I'll evolve the Tumbleweed and the other, the other walking Pokemon. The... The... Dung Beetle. Between streams as well. Get some more free revives. Never hurts. a picnicker. No one really comments on your bizarre motorcycle-like legendary Pokemon after uh, after the after the first like the opening of the game. Also, we got like a a, a not Nurse Joy just kind of hanging out in the wild. We get to see the full model, not behind a Pokemon desk. Hello, Gimme Ghoul. Gimme. There's a creature down there. Oh! I got tumbled upon. took a wrong turn. Well, there's a Pokemon Center. I guess it, it doesn't hurt to have that town. I'll go there real quick. And then I'll go to the, the other Pokemon Center. No distractions. Just a, a last minute run. A late night run to end the stream. I feel like I should be gliding faster. The glide speed is kind of low. I also feel like I should be running faster. What was that? Was that a, was that a rare? A rare thing? Doesn't matter. No distractions. I do like that I'm getting, like, more mobility over the course of the game. I still feel like I would like to move faster, but I guess that's what the better tra fa fast travel that was mentioned will be for. It's going to take us until the very end of the game before we unlock a uh, vroom mode. And we can actually ride this thing like a motorcycle. What is that? I saw something. What is that? Oh, it's the it's the thing. It's the orthworm. I, it looked like a like a red wiglet. Meowth wandering around. I caught a uh, Terra Meowth. I don't remember what its type is, but I caught one.
All right. Let me rearrange my party a little bit. We'll probably... Re I may retire Palmot between streams. Again, uh, my goal off stream will be to explore a little more... Retread some ground, catch some mons that I skipped, and uh, find a good catcher mon that can learn False Swipe, because this, this idiot can't. Let me take one final look at the map. I will probably start next time with the Poison Crew base. That seems like the, ne the next logical place for us to go. And then we will uh, gradually move towards the icy part of the map. And that will probably be Thursday. Uh, I have... Not so much of a midday tomorrow, but I will have a midday break on Thursday that I should be able to continue this further. And uh, we'll see what the weekend holds between me and Jack. We might continue this. We might do something completely different. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.